Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, I already made a mess. Um, now, lettering. Many, many years ago, when I was a young, a young lad, um, I used to be a sign writer and I used to climb up outside people's shops and paint their names um, outside the shops. I used to love that. And, and a good thing about it, painting letters like that all day long, is you get really inside the, you know, the, the, the letters and the typefaces. And uh, I've got to really love typefaces. I worked in printing for a long time as well. And nowadays, everything is all done on the computer and you, you just don't really think about it. Um, so, um, so basically, you're two, there, are, there are kind of two, well, there are three kind of types of typeface. Um, and there's the, there's the good old fashioned one, which is uh, serif, um, which is the kind that you'll find in books mostly. Uh, it's easy on the eye for reading. Um, and it's the little serifs, the little nicks and bumps and things at the top and the, and the ends that make it easier to read. It kind of makes the makes the letters flow into each other. So um, it's these little bits at the end, like this, which are the serifs. These little bumps and things, and serif. Um, lettering is generally thick and thin, you know, thick on the sides and thin at the top. Well, it's not that brilliant. Hang on, there's the little serif there, there's the serif at the bottom. Uh, oh, I'm making it up as I go along. Uh, and, and then you're going to want that and the serif at the bottom. It's not terribly brilliantly planned. Because I really am making it up as I go along, um, and there's a serif typeface, um, and 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 the way to understand these is just to draw them and get get yourself a type catalogue or, or look online and print out print out typefaces, um, and just go through them and and see what's different. And one thing you can find, you know, a lot of serif typefaces really do look the same, and the way to sort them out is with the lowercase g's. Uh, this is a capital, and the, the small letters are called lowercase which all goes back to um, when type was made out of metal and you used to keep them in cases and the smaller ones were in the lower case and the capitals were in the top case and uh, and, and so many things uh, in typography so many words come from the old days so you can always you can always work out uh, you know what kind of a typeface which is what the name is from the G uh, so many so many terms in typography come come from all the old days when whenever with the, with the the metal all, all the words were the letters were cast and made out of lead um, so the spacing between is called leading because you put more lead in to make it uh, different now the other kind of uh, typeface that you're going to get is is sans serif and sans is the latin word for without so basically a sans serif typeface doesn't have serifs um, and they're slightly more modern um, and now another thing you need to keep in mind is I've forgotten what the I think this is called the X height I'm not sure I can't remember now I used to know once uh, if you're doing a, a, a a, a, a letter with curves you want to get above the line and below the line because not everything in lettering is to do with uh, exact geometry a lot of it is actually to do with with sort of you know optical uh, you know how the eye perceives things um, so this is a sans serif which means it's just kind of got square ends um, and again, I don't know what typeface this is. I'm just making it up. It's kind of a mishmash of various things. So, so um, a sans serif doesn't have the little nicks and bits on it. Now, Tip Top Golfy wanted to know about speech bubbles as well. So I talked to you a little bit about speech bubbles. Uh, speech bubbles are generally it, it doesn't matter what shape you've got them in, but uh, I tend to put them in um, an ellipse. But what you want to think about is having an internal ellipse inside it uh, which which you will write within that so you're always keeping some white space around so that you're not going to go right up to the edges so if I go hello tip top 
coffee, like that. I'm sure I don't need to say it in quite such a terrible voice. All right, hello, la, la, oh, tip, top, coffee, and then go around the outside like that. And, and then you're going to keep some nice space around it and it's not going to look cramped. Um, and then rub that out. I think we probably need a little person here going, hello, how are we doing? Five minutes. I've got to keep an eye on the time here. Uh, so you can be going, uh, hello. Um, what else can I tell you? Lettering, you know, if you're, if you're doing this kind of thing. There's, there's one kind of, there's a thing that kind of a, a way that architects use which you can adapt um, and or what shall I say drawing school how about that and if you keep the pen there and and use use the pen use the ruler um, to keep a straight skirt or um, <laughs> drawing shoe how about that there we go and don't forget to do the bottom of your G and that will keep you on the straight and narrow like that and, and, and keep things nice and even um, what else can, what else can I say I don't know right at the moment I, th I think if you want to know more about time <laughs> email me and say what do you what do you actually want to know about and I'll see if I can help you um, a, a, a lot of it is just practice, 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 and handwriting is all about practice, 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 and and you know, in I don't know if you do it anymore, but in the old days we used to have books with lines on, and we used to have to go, you know, the quick brown fox and, and we would spend all day repeating and repeating we would do um oh, i've got a bit of space up here hang on we would do endless you know if you if you just keep doing that and and repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating um you will you know after a couple of days you would be doing really nice letter m's um i've i've found a little while ago that my handwriting was so bad and, and the way I did an A, uh, the letter A, the, uh, s s made me slur the rest of my words. So I've, I've forced myself by practicing again and again to change the way I do my letter A's like this. And, and I spent days just... <laughs> just doing this whereas before I used to kind of go like that and, and this tail used to make my handwriting go slurring off all over the place so um those are just some thoughts at the moment um tell me what you want to know uh, um, and if i can help you at all um with other things and and maybe give give tips yourself um so uh try you know try a video response with some tips and things like that this is this is um I can't even, this is more of a cursive typeface it's a it's a copper plate kind of type right r typeface so try, try doing a video response or whatever um you can maybe win a prize one of my books signed for you um and keep coming back to the shoe rainer drawing channel on youtube uh and i'm on teacher tube as well and go to my site www.shoe-tube.com shoe-tube and uh and you should be able to see my videos in school as well and through you know through all those uh, nanny filters and everything so keep coming back let me know if you want to know some more about lettering and uh, we'll see what we can do okay bye